and welcome back to adobe live here in the uk three days a week now uh, sort of round about midday ish <laughs> and on wednesdays we've got a master class a 90 minute master class you said you wanted longer deeper learning sessions well you're going to get them so let's see how that works out i'm sure it's going to be fine now if you're watching us on youtube that is also just fine but do you know what you're not going to be able to get involved in the chat no, no, no. It's not the chat you're looking for. So where you should go is to behance.net slash Adobe Live. Then you can join in with our fabulous community, who I will say hello to in yes. a moment. But first, I want to say hello to the fabulous Sophia Emmerich from Germany, hello, who is hello. amazing and such a giggle. You've met her before. Hi. Hi. Yes, I uh, did the last year. It sounds like it's been ages ago. Last year, I did the Thursdays. Thursdays in the UK. Stream. Head in the clouds. I hope some people still remember me. Yes, of course they will. Absolutely they will. And you were with us for the Christmas um, watch party as well, so which was fantastic. So that we was had so much fun. fun. Yes, good, good fun. Well, we're going. We're, I'll tell you a bit, a bit more about what we're going to be doing together today. Okay, uh, but first of all, let's say hello to some of the people in the chat. So I already know we've got in there we've got Catherine, Catherine. Oliver Carrie Sean good dog uh, Sean Sandrine uh, Sandrine Andreas as well always in the background Tim looking off oh someone's already asking Tony is stealing <coughs> Sophia's job who's the host here we both are that's the thing but well, earlier we used technology to decide who'd start the show and the technology we used was called flipping a coin yeah, it's excellent. Try it out. Works for all sorts of things. I'm going to try it next time I play rugby, so which we never. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> but there you go. So, so hi to all you as well. Uh, great to see you back here. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, really fabulous. So, what is this masterclass business about? Well, it's your route to mastery, right? So, what we're going to do is work through things today. Sophia, who has wanted to get into Illustrator for quite a while, um, but has opened it, looked at it, gone, ah, and run away. <laughs> yeah, and then she watched YouTube videos for a few hours and ran away again. <laughs> they were the wrong ones, you see. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to wait for Tony to teach me. And there you go. And that's yeah. it. And so what we did was we had a chat uh, offline. I said, right, what do you want to draw? Create something that you want to draw. Okay, and then we'll do that and we'll draw that together. So, on the screen that you're about to see now is Sophia's sketch that she sent to me. And this is a scan of it uh, just here, cleaned up a bit, made it a bit liney, but she colored that in uh, for me. I think that in Tim in the background is probably thinking, oh, yes, this is Tony from his days as one of Madonna's backing dancers. <laughs> <laughs> That's my inspiration. It, well, it may well be, but you know, that they were heady that. times for me. I have no memory. But <laughs> Yeah, I went through the Google images and found you as a dancer and was like, oh my God, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. I still have it. Anyway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and we're going to make a poster out of it for everyone to we, remember these glorious times. Oh, we are indeed. So it'll be good. So what we'll do is uh, in a moment, uh, we'll switch over to my screen in just a moment. Okay, so there will be a bit of going backwards and forwards. Uh, as we do that, so bear with me uh, while we do. If I can just find the uh, screen share thing, Tim will hook me up with that. And then I'm going to talk Sophia through this and uh, uh, maybe a couple of points as we go along. Okay, and certainly at the end, we'll see how Sophia's got on uh, with that. And if you're working along with us as well, that will be yeah. just fine. Um, I'll tell you there's something else that I should mention, you know, and that's our calendar. Sophia. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. 
we should mention that. So do you go and that. get the camera. Uh, Marketing. Cam- yes. Good work. Right. Are you ready to go? I am ready to go. I have Illustrator open, but nothing yet else. Like it just Perfect. says, welcome to Illustrator, Sophia. And I'm, that's nice. all right. Right. So what I'm going to get you to do, of course, is create a new document first. So uh, are you on Mac you. or Windows? Yeah. I'm Mac. Mac. Cool. So command N then for uh, yes. new documents. And yes. there you've got a whole bunch of different profiles. Can you see art and illustration? Across yes, the I can. Yeah. I'll just get, get it so that people can see that on mine as well. So art and illustration. And from yes. there, go for poster. Poster, it's the second from the left, right? It yeah. is. So just go for that. Yes. Uh, don't worry about anything else just there, just at the minute, okay? And uh, then you'll end up with a document like this. I, yep, that's what I have now. Perfect. Right. The first thing we're going to do then okay is we're going to bring your sketch into this and then we're going to turn it into a template that we can work with okay Okay. so to place that there is a shortcut which is shift command p but otherwise just go to the file menu and choose place file place that's the one yeah that's the one that's the one then navigate to wherever you've got your sketch got it okay and what we'll do is select that and bring that in. Now, when it comes in, just go sort of somewhere up towards the edges and then just click and drag diagonally downwards Ooh. so you've got it at a whatever size. Got there. that. Got it? <clears throat> Losing my voice. Yes, got it. Fantastic. Right then. Now, over on the right hand side of your uh, illustrator, uh, towards the top, you'll see three things. I'm going to go from the right inwards, okay? So the first thing you'll see is a box that says search Adobe help. You don't need that. Okay, the next thing you'll see is a light bulb. Don't need that. And the next thing to that is a workspace switcher. So I want you to click on that, okay? Windows view, wait, where am I? Uh, So just this is in the application bar right at the top of the interface. Can you see it in the gray bar? Just yes, over on the right hand side. So there should be a little icon. Looks like a little rectangle with a bar in it. Yes. Got it? If you click yes. on that, it will give you a load of things. It will say like automation, essentials, essentials classic. Do you have it? Um, Don't worry. Uh, um, All right, I'll give you another route to doing it. Go to the window that. menu. Window, that's better. I yeah, that. we'll do the yeah. menus. Okay, so window, yeah. workspace. Workspace, and, got that. Yeah. Ah, here you go. Choose Essentials Classic. That's already checked. Perfect. In that case, choose Reset Essentials Classic. From okay, that same just place. click on that. Yep. And then it will just reset. So we're looking at okay. more or less the same thing. Now, Perfect. If, you, if you're able to see my screen as well, uh, you might see a couple of things that are different because I've got a whole load of plugins in mine, but don't worry about that stuff. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go to the Layers panel. Okay, Mm -hmm. so if you find that, it will be on the right hand side there. You've got got more wine arriving. I got (laughs) stuff arriving. Obviously, it's always at the time when I'm live streaming, but now it has to wait. Worry not. Okay, so have you got the layers panel open? I have that open. Perfect. Right, just to the right of where it says layer one in that empty area just there, just double click there. Wait, I have to see where you just clicked because... Yeah, uh, the mail in Germany is really persistent here. Yeah, no, that's okay. But that's yeah, fine. so okay. just all right, layers. just double click there. That's it. And then just where it says layer yes. one, yes. double click there. Mm-hmm. Okay. You'll get layer options. Mm-hmm. And all I want you to do is check template. Template. Yes. Oh, damn. Yep. He Got can it? hear me talk, I guess. Yes. Okay. And there it will mm-hmm. say dim images to 50% just there yes. as well. You can see all of that? Yes. Perfect. Hit OK. OK, did that. Good. And so that does three things, right? It turns it into a template layer. It dims Mm -hmm. the images to 50% and then it automatically locks it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. uh, And (laughs) what we're going to do is at the bottom of the layers panel, Mm -hmm. just to the left of the trash can is we're going to click on the create new icon just there just to add a new layer. Yeah, done that. And that's great. That's us done in the layers panel for the minute. Awesome. So just okay. close it back. Okay. Just close that back. Yeah, absolutely. 
So the first thing we've got here, I thought we'd work from the background out. Okay, so we'll do the stuff in the background first. All right. Yeah. And then <laughs> they really are <laughs> persistent. Honestly, here, they are. here, the posts, they just knock on the door and run away. <laughs> Usually, I don't know. I think it's because you can hear me talk probably. And he's like, why is she not answering? I know, I know you're in there. I know you're in there. Yeah, <laughs> I can hear you. But Go away. <laughs> Just say, I have the plague. <laughs> Next time I put a sign on the door, live recording. Yeah, yeah that, it, that, that just makes a knock harder as well. Probably. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> we need <Sorry>. a bleeper. <gasps> we need a bleeper. <laughs> and like. You're not the first like, person to do that. My favorite was uh, Veronica Ruff. Uh, Veronica, <laughs> she did a great one. But anyway, right, moving on. Moving Let's on. Start Thank to you. draw. Kind of. Okay, this uh, this nice radiating background just here. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. We're going to draw that in. And the tool we're going to use for that is something called the uh, polar grid tool. Don't worry about looking for it because I'm going to guide you. Can you see the backslash okay. key on your keyboard? So look on your keyboard. Can you see the backslash key? Yeah. Yeah, tap that. Now, if you look in the toolbox, you'll see that the line tool is active. Can you see it? Tool Look box. in the toolbox. Yeah, on the left-hand side of the screen. Yeah. Just there. Can you see it? What is it called? Line segment tool? Yes. Yes. Got it. Press on that. So long press on that yeah. and it will reveal all of the other tools in yes. that set. Okay. And polar grid tool is yes, down I have at the that. bottom. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Click on that. Right, so yes, absolutely. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come out and we're going to draw something. Now you're also going to do a couple of things here. You're going to use your keyboard yeah. while you're drawing. Yeah. Okay. And the important thing here is just to not stop drawing. <laughs> yeah. While we use the key. It's it sounds hard. It's not hard, honest, I promise. Okay. Okay. I promise, promise, promise. All right. Well, let's see. This is just me gauging how adept you are right now with okay. how dexterous you are. And I can compensate for it if not. OK, so what we're going to do is, in fact, if you just watch my screen for a second, you'll see me do yeah. it. I'm going to click and drag outwards like so. All right. Can you see the preview okay. there of what I'm going to get? Yeah. Now, I'm not releasing the trackpad or mouse if you're using one. Here, yeah. but what I am going to do is I'm going to hit the down arrow key yeah. on my keyboard like so until all of those concentric circles disappear. Okay. And then I'm going to use the right arrow key, okay, to introduce more radial dividers. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to do two things finally. I'm going to hold down the option key and the shift key and then just draw that out so it's nice and big like so and then release at that point can I you can, do that i can do that yes perfect i've got a, i've got a i've got a plan if you can't so don't worry too so much. i will click and drag, drag open yeah okay, not too big so and then i go down 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 uh, down, down, down 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 and then i go right how many did you go right? Just do a, just do a, just do a, an even number would be best if you can see an even number. I think I got one, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, I nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have an even number. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Then yeah. hold down option should and I, I shift. Should have... to, sorry. Yes, option. I have option. And shift. Oops. And then you option can stop drawing shift. at that point. Or did you stop drawing already? No. Should no? I let oh, go now? Good. I have uh, once you've got option and shift held down and it's yeah. nice and big yeah. as mine is. Yeah. Now you can stop drawing. You can release at that point. Boom. Done it. Okay. You're super dexterous. So that's, that's very, very useful indeed. Perfect. Right then. So next we're going to draw a rectangle. This is really, really simple. Okay. And uh, we're going to tap M on our keyboard. M for multa. M on our keyboard. Yeah, and that will get you the rectangle tool. Yes. Yeah, and then just come out onto the artboard and then just click and drag a rectangle like so. Something like that will be just fine. Yes. Nice. Done that. Perfect. Now, 
just tell me, is your rectangle filled with white? Um, I think it has no fill. Oh, that's perfect. That's really good. And do you know how you can tell, Sophia? If you look at the toolbox... I see appearance, no fill. Or like the, the slash through the white. That's layer. it. Perfect. Exactly okay. that. that. That's great stuff. Right. Okay. So now tap V on your keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. That will get you the selection tool. And all you're going to do is just select both of those things. So you can do that. But you don't have to completely go all the way around them. So here I'm starting up in the top right hand corner and just dragging so that the marquee intersects with both of those things. Okay. Oh, oops. Come on. No Don't worry, it's all good. If not, at this no, particular no, no. point. I got it. I think yeah, I have got both. It? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to turn this into a live paint object. So I'll go with the menus on this rather than the shortcuts here. Uh, although if you did need the shortcut audience, it's Option Command X or Alt Control X. Uh, so go Object and then go down to Live Paint. Live Paint, yes. Yeah, and choose. And then Make make yes now my friend in germany monica galsa she this was the game changer for her when she like me we both switched from freehand and this was the thing that actually made that happen because it's so 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 good what does it actually do well you're gonna see what it does okay. is it allows you to color in regions just by clicking Ooh. yeah so if you tap uh, k on your keyboard k yes yep yeah, Ooh. That will get you something called the live paint bucket. Yes. Yeah. I can so, see these sections. Yes. Nice. So if you now click on your swatches panel, so that's somewhere above where the uh, layers are. Got it. There. Yeah. And choose a color that you want. I'm going to go for sort of a magenta type color here. And what we're going to do is we're going to color in these interior regions just here. So I'm going to click on one come down to the next region and click and skipping a region in between each time. Yeah. And then just yes. make my way around like so. Damn. I think my number is not lining up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just kind of do some other colors. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. And then choose, choose another color that you're going to use. Artistic okay. freedom. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. And then just do that like that so let me just check the chat while you're while you're doing that oh so many people doing the chats ah <sighs> some people thought uh, jackie says i thought i knew ai until i started watching tony in these sessions oh thank you uh the ah oh, some good stuff sandrine's watched um some of my courses i know she has she's um hi sandrine which is really good fantastic right good anyway awesome. got that colored up yes perfect ready Good, right. Now, over in the right-hand side of the screen, you should have a massive panel called Properties. Yes. Yeah? Yes. This is, uh, this is uh, Properties only came around a few, uh, a few years ago, a couple or so, about three or four years ago, um, if that, in fact. And it's, it's a great way to, it's context sensitive, so it will change depending on what you have uh, selected. Now, because we have a live paint object selected here, down at the bottom of that panel, you'll see something called a quick actions area. Yes. Yeah. And there's a button there that says expand. Correct. Do clicking on the expand. <laughs> Not that much happened. Well, I'll tell you, something did actually happen because it's now no longer a live paint object. It's a group. But nothing visual happened. Is that correct? Well, nothing happened on the artboard, okay. no, but some a couple of things did happen visually. Uh, and so, in fact, if you look at the top of the properties panel, it tells you what is selected. Group. And whereas before, that's it. It's now convert that to a group. So we've got some stuff there that we don't actually need. And what we're going to do is trim it away. And we're going to use a tool specifically for that. Okay, so if you hold down the shift key on yes. your keyboard, okay, and tap M on your keyboard, yeah. That gets you something called the Shape Builder tool. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Now, That's, look what happens when you corners. move out onto these regions. Now, I'm just wondering, actually, if that's going to start targeting that region. Hold on one second. Let me just check. No, that's working fine. Right. So 
The shape builder naturally, its natural state is it wants to add things together because mm -hmm. it's nice like that. Wants to include everybody. Yeah. Hmm. But we want to make it. We want to make it less nice. <laughs> we want to make it take stuff away. To do that, you simply hold down the option key while you're using it, and you'll see that even the little icon next to it changes from a plus to a minus. Yes. Yeah. So yep. now you can click on these regions here and just get rid of them. And then you can do the same with the strokes. In fact, you can drag across the strokes like so. Can you see that I'm going around those, yeah. not touching the art? And it gets rid of all that stuff. Done that. Yes. Go on. There we are. So we've got our background. That's pretty painless, right? Yeah, that was, I mean, the most I've learned in how many minutes did we go already? Like 20 minutes? 20 minutes. I was just going to joke and say, well, we've got 10 minutes left. <laughs> Thanks for joining everyone. This is what we're learning today. Hope you enjoyed it, Benny. <laughs> anyway, right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the layers panel. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to double click on the word layer two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to call this BG for background. BG. Yes. And we and leave the, it as like the normal nothing template or lock or show no, print. Templates whatever. are just for things where you want to draw across things, really. They're okay. things, I mean, they don't have to have dimmed images on, but they're just things that you want to lock. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of different reasons why you might use them. But if you're tracing, mm -hmm. uh, manually tracing an object using pho photographic reference as we are here, yeah, then that feature to be able to dim those down a bit, change their opacity and have okay. them locked is, is a good idea. Which incidentally brings us to what we're going to do next. So you can see the column that has padlocks in it. Okay, yes. just in the layers there. So let's lock this one. Okay. okay, and also we can hide it for the time being. Okay, so there's a little visibility uh, icon just there. So yeah. click that, just like in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hide it. And then we'll add another layer. This time we'll do it using the keyboard. So okay. Command L. L. Yes. Done generate you a new layer all right all good mm -hmm. fantastic let's have a quick scan uh, quickly of the chat to see what we've got Ooh, i love that people are watching the german streams fantastic as well it's really good julia's here actually as well julia seeger's here yes. watching silently watching, judging judging <laughs> me and i'm very scared because she's so good at illustrator she is. She is indeed. The pros are watching. There we are. Yeah, no pressure, eh? <laughs> no pressure at all. <laughs> uh, anyway, what we can do is are you com are you comfortable with zooming by pinching and spreading? Are you are you I mean, that? I would say command plus, command minus if I'm not You you could do that, but also if you if you're using a trackpad. I am. Yes, yeah. I have it here. So you could actually spread to zoom in like that. So get your fingers and spread on there. You yeah. can see you can zoom in uh, pretty quickly. You could also, of course, use the zoom tool. But it's a good idea for us to uh, to go ahead and, uh, and zoom in on what we're going to do. Now, the face is actually the part we're going to do last. I thought okay. we'd actually start with uh, the legs. Here. Okay. And the great news is... You should only have to draw one leg here. <gasps> what? Yeah, okay. Because, because Illustrator's got the magics. Wow. It has, really, really, really. I want to know what people think of my drawing skills. That was the first sketch I've ever made. Any feedback on, on my drawings? Well, I mean, you're a photographer and you're a great photographer. And it's, I think it's a good sketch. I wasn't sure about the proportions, <laughs> but... <laughs> They're pretty good. I mean, the proportions from uh, from the t the collarbone uh, to the waist and the waist down to the feet should be roughly the same just there. So they are, you know, just a little bit longer in the body sometimes because we're all different. right? But roughly, if you're drawing something like this and you can see there, if I just use, uh, I'll just use a line here just to show you. Yeah. Right. So if I went from here and I'm just going to make the line nice and big so you can see it, I'll regret doing this in a minute because I'll draw <laughs> the next thing and it's got big lines. But it's not too far. Well, actually, it is quite a long way. It is. <laughs> That's because I didn't like go as far as the, the length. No, I didn't go as far as the as the anatomical point there. But there we go. It's not too bad. Not, not too, too bad, bad at all. Yeah. Cool. And plus, it's dancer and you know, so has really long legs. Elegant. Awesome. Elegant. Anyway. 
Right. So let's start you know, with the legs. Now, there's a, there's a couple of different ways we could approach this, actually. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in on the leg just here. Yes. And uh, maybe if I show you the two methods I might use. Yeah. And then you can determine which one works best okay. for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I wanted to draw the leg and shoe completely, I'd use one of the pen tools to do that. Now, you could use a pencil and you could draw it. So here's one way I'll do this. This is with a pencil. And if you want to do it this way, I'll talk you through that. So I could just go ahead here. And if your drawing is competent enough, right, you could just go ahead and draw over the top of that. Like so. Now, there you go. That's me regretting it. <laughs> Let's that wind that. Great. Let's wind that down a little bit. Now, the <laughs> great thing is with the pencil, right? Is if you you can see um, just here, right, that I've got a bit of variation there from the sketch. You can see that. Yeah. The great thing is with the pencil, normally, and we can check this easily by double clicking on the pencil tool, right? You can see here there's an option uh, to edit selected paths. And that means if I just go back over the top of it and draw that bit again, yeah, then yeah. I can edit that. Now I'm naturally putting uh, in a calf to say, do you see it? So there's that way yeah. to do it, or there's the way with something called the pen tool. And I, my favorite is this one, it's called the curvature pen tool. And do you use the pen tool in Photoshop? Do you ever use that? Uh, I use brushes mostly for what I do. Okay. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click here and I'm going to come down to around about the knee point just there and I'm going to click here uh, and then I'm going to click just here and I'm just choosing points to click at and you can see that I am getting yeah, a curve like so. So this one just involves clicking so it's pretty easy. Do you want to do it that way? Yeah, I think so. How do I know where to click? Like, what right. is the? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to explain that as we go okay. along. Well, in fact, I'll do it right now. Okay. What I'll do is I'll show you. I'll show you a curve just here, like yes. so. Right. Now, when I select this using this particular tool here, this is called the direct selection tool. It allows you to work mm -hmm. with all of the different vector points because that's how vector illustrations are made. Mm -hmm. Right. You can see I've got these four points around the side here. Yeah, And can you see when I click on them, I get these handles? Yes. Yeah. So the purpose of the handles is they dictate um, the direction at which a path leaves a point, okay, or enters a point and how much power it has, right? Mm -hmm. do, do you get that? Yeah, so if I shorten it, it will go. Yeah, it will. It will. It will bring it down like so. It will change the nature of the curve. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And if you overextend it, think of it like a car driving through a particular point in space. And if the and but the next one is is ninety degrees from that. If you put too much gas on, the car would then have to veer and go around that way to correct its course. Yeah. Pretty much how my eldest daughter drives. Really. Also, like, this is how I see the world. Imagine a car driving through the universe and what would happen. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so that, that's, how, that's how that kind of works. So, okay. uh, um, and ideally, what you want to do is place points on a curve at a tangency, right? So, where mm -hmm. do you know the tangent? So, the highest. The highest point of a curve. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you want to do. So I'm just going to delete those things there. What we're going to do is in the toolbox, okay, because there is a shortcut for this, but I'm not sure if it will work on a German keyboard because uh, it's shift tilde or shift back tick. Right? But what we'll do tool, is, though. oh, have you? Yeah, it was underneath my pen tool. Oh, there you go. Uh, all right, okay. You're all oh, right because you've got you've got a column. Yes, I do. Ah, okay, right. So curvature tool, like so. Looks like a pen tool, but with a little with wavy a little... line coming out of it. Now I'm going to zoom in. I believe that you will see my zooming if I zoom. Can you see that? Did you zoom in on the image? Ah, oh, yeah. right. Did it? Ah, uh, did, did it not work? Okay, so there we go. Right. So we've got the curvature pen tool. Yes. Perfect. Right. What we're going to do then is we're going to go to the top of the leg. Yeah. Okay. And then just click. Click. 
Yeah. Move down towards where you would see perhaps the front of the knee and click. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you should have drawn a straight, it will look at the moment like a straight line just now. Yeah. Although it's not really a straight line. Yeah. And then come down to just above the ankle. Okay, and click. Yes. Okay, move down. So there's a curve there from the ankle. Move into the middle of that curve and click. And you'll notice that the line above now starts to change as well. Yes. Yeah, perfect. And then just a bit further down the shoe, you should get a little preview line that shows you. Oh, damn. So, I have a fill on. Can I turn that off? Yes. Don't okay, don't worry about that. Hold on. Um, have a look at the toolbox. Mm -hmm. Look down the look down to where the fill and stroke are in the toolbox. Which is in front, the solid square with a line with, or the hollow square? The yellow that I picked last stayed on. Okay, hit the slash key on your keyboard, just the regular slash key. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that should turn the fill off. The slash key. Yeah. The one... Didn't do it. Oh. Mm. Slash any shift or something maybe no 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 just that just slash. i'll just that turn case, it off and do it again i can do it. that's fine you sure yes you can just continue i'll turn that no no i'll wait off. for you it's perfectly all right it gives me a chance to look at the uh Chat. they're talking about bo <laughs> bourbon biscuits right now which is lovely really really lovely cars in space it's the, that's mine and sophia's new series starting soon <laughs> we travel not only through space but through time as well <laughs> so now the fill is slashed through yep and stroke is at one you have it at six maybe i'll just go to six Change here it. yeah yeah that's fine if you want to go i'm just going with a nice weight that it's easy for everybody to see including you just gonna see because if i click now it gives me an error it says please use the lead anchor point tool all oh, right okay point of path. Yeah, yeah yeah i know i know what you're using okay so have you got a line there at all no because the first time i click now it says please use the delete anchor point tool yeah okay i, I get it so um what you're not actually in the right tool just at the moment oh. so uh, let me switch mine across to a column so if you tap p to begin with on your keyboard p yeah p yes yeah, that, that. that will light up the pen tool just underneath that in your column. You should see the curvature tool. Got that. Got so the curvature tool is definitely the thing you need. And I'll just delete these things here and we can start over. So you ready? Yes. Perfect. Right. So starting at the top of the leg, I'm actually starting up in the area of the skirt just here. I'm, I'm doing what's called overdrawing uh, okay. just a little bit just at the moment. So I'm going to start just there. Mm -hmm. Make your way down to about the knee, that somewhere yes. in that region. Then down to just above the ankle. Okay. Yes. Then down to what would be the tangent point for the shoe just there. And Got then it. just make your way down and try and look at the little preview that you see as you work. Yes. Yeah. Right. And then go towards the toe, but don't actually click on the toe. Because what we want to do is stop here. Let me just zoom in so you can see it. So right on top. Yeah, so right on top of the toes. Then go down to the point of the shoe. Yeah, then go down to the underside of the shoe. Yes. And then just go sort of halfway between where you are now and the top of the heel. Yes. And then up like that. Can you see how that works? Got it. Looks exactly the same. Perfect. Now, the great <laughs> thing is with this particular tool, with the other with the other pen tool, if you want to adjust the point, you actually have to switch tools and do that. But this tool is great. So here, for example, if I thought the top of my shoe was not quite right, can you see how I can move this point around yeah. without switching tools? This is a really, really beautiful uh, tool to use. It's, it's, I didn't like it when they first introduced it, but it is my favorite yeah, for drawing. It's super good. So far, seems okay. seems I seem to like it. 
I'm not 100 percent convinced because I'm. I know. Wait, you know, you've only you've only just met. You've not. You've not. You know. Yeah. Not been out. We have not been yeah. formally introduced. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. So, with the point at the top of the heel here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double click on that because it changes the nature of that point. Right. It means it's got a curve on one side, straight line segment on the other. Yeah. Okay. Then I can come down to the bottom of the heel here. Just double click there. Let's make this one nice and straight. Just there. Double click over on the on the back corner. Okay. Yes. And then what we'll do is we'll just come towards the top of the shoe and double click just there. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. This is why I love trackpads because it makes it one seamless operation to do that. Then we can start to make our way up the leg. So I'm just going just across into the ankle there, clicking at that point going towards the calf and clicking there and then moving in just a tiny bit mm. there as well. Don't worry. It wasn't. Are ooh. you making a straight line or are you making a curve now? I'm making a curve now. Mm. I made a straight line up the heel, but as soon as all I'm doing now is just single clicking and that means it will make a curve. Okay. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So make our way up and you might need to just click at a few places just to change the direction or even pull the point around as I'm doing just here. Question, okay. is it better to have a lot of points or try to have as little as possible? Does it, it not matter? It, it's, it's nice to have an optimal amount of points. It's nice to do that. But while you're learning to draw with it, right, it's, um, it's, it's do as many as you need. Okay. to get around it yeah and if i want to get out of the tool i just use escape because if i want to go back now to adjust a point oh, you don't need to switch tools with this one if you want to adjust the point you use exactly oh. the same tool that's okay. why it's so lovely because you can just go back with the same tool you don't have to switch tools with this one so if i realized i had forgotten to double click on one and it actually became a curve even though i wanted it to be straight line can i go back and just double click on this now exactly that exactly that and it will change it's really good. Here we go. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Done yeah. that. Fixed that's, it. Th that's why it's so gorgeous, this thing. By the way, I ought to point out to everybody that, you know, we didn't rehearse this at all. No. So this is completely the way <laughs> it's going to be because, well, we didn't want to do something slick. We wanted yeah. it to be real so that if you're learning Illustrator and you're coming across these things, it gives you a way to, to solve so I can feel all of you, but I can also tell you it's a lot of fun, actually. I was really scared of, of Illustrator because... I have no clue, but this is actually really cool to see it's, and to it see it come a together. Fun thing. Yes. Yeah. Right. So the last point I've drawn here, what I'm going to do is just double click on that, which means the next point I draw will be uh, straight from there. And then I'm just mm -hmm. going to come up to the top here and then go back to the first point and double click on that. And it will close that path. Okay. And you'll have a leg. I have my first so leg. Drawn painting. your first leg. Congrats. Okay. There we are, winning. Right then. Feels great. So we're going to tap. But uh, do you know what would be a really good idea at this particular moment would be to actually save this, because even though you need to watch my face just for a minute, even though Illustrator never crashes, <laughs> ever. <laughs> don't don't say that. If you say it now. It's just gonna like in a minute everything's gonna it's, crash. Well, that's why it's a good idea to say. Although it has got, you know, it has got pretty good crash protection these days. Okay, but, we're gonna do. But, yeah, let's just do a quick save. Command S, like in all the. Command S, normal... yeah, like in yeah. everything that one. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Command S to save or everything Adobe anyway. I call yeah. it Dancing Tony. There we are. My kids will be so proud. Safe. <laughs> Okay, uh, and in the Illustrator options, just accept everything just there uh, and hit OK. And we've done that. Golden. Nice. Right then. Now we're going to create another leg from this leg. Okay. Ah! How's that going to work? Well, I'm what, ready. We're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to tap V on our keyboard. To v. Get the select V, yes, to get the selection tool. Got that. If, if we have time later on, I'll tell you why it's V. Uh, but we won't worry about that too much right now. So we're going to hold down the option key. Okay. And then we're going to click and drag a copy like so. Come on. We hold option. Yeah. And I'll. 
is it not dragging? Oh, it should do. It should do. Yeah, uh, what you need oh what you'll need to make sure is right. So Illustrator only allows you to move things that have got a visual attribute. So if you're going in the middle of the leg, yeah, it won't work. You'll need to do it by the stroke. Ah. And you'll actually see the icon changes. It gets, gives you a small grid next to it. Yeah. Worked. Perfect. Moved a leg. Yeah. Tim's just guessing, by the way, in the chat about the nature of why it's V. I'll tell you why it's V, Tim, very, very quickly. That's uh, because back in the days of Pace Up. Uh, you did, which is where I started, right? You have a 10A scalpel blade. Yeah. And because this, the purpose of this is to pick up things and move them around. That's why it looks like a scalpel blade. Ta -da! There you are. Right. And there, illustrator factoids. Right. You've got your leg selected still, your new leg, your second yes. leg. Go to the properties panel, your new yeah. leg. <laughs> and just, can you see the transform area just there? You'll see two yes. icons to the bottom right. One of them shows a flip icon, flip horizontally. So flip yes. that one horizontally, <laughs> like so. There we go. And then just bring the shoe into pretty much that kind of position, something like that. Mm -hmm. Ready? Got that. Let's yeah. see if this works. Fingers crossed, hoping this one works. <laughs> and Illustrator does not crash. Illustrator does not crash so far, which is very, very good indeed. Right, I have to remind myself where this particular tool is. I think it is with, oh my gosh, I can't remember where it is. Hold on, no, it's not with that lot. I am looking for, oh, it's with the transform. This? Right, okay. Tap E on your keyboard for the free transform tool. E. Yeah, and then go and long press on that and you'll see the puppet warp tool. Puppet warp tool. Got that? Yes. Perfect. Right. Once you've got that, uh -huh. you'll and you might be familiar with this from Photoshop. Yeah. Right. You may well be familiar with it. And it works in a very, very similar way. So it gives you a mesh like so and also gives you anchor points. So there's a couple of places we need to create anchor points. So we'll go down to the ankle. Okay. And we're going to click just there to place a, an anchor point. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to we're going to have to imagine where the knee is and click just there to create an anchor point. Mm, yeah, just yeah. ish. Ballpark is just fine. And then okay. we're going to we're going to click. Oh, now you see, I started to drag and my toes going all tippy pointy. So I'm just going to undo that. I think I also need an anchor point at the toe. Yeah. Yeah. There might but also that... be the necessity for one at the heel, but we'll find out in a moment. No. Yeah. I'm going to put one on the heel as well. Yes. And then we're going to drag that knee point up and over like so. Yeah, that's sort of working. Kind of. It looks <laughs> Well, it, it might work. It might work a bit better in a minute because when we grab the one that would essentially be at the hip, we could bring that in. Is your shoe also, it is also, should we need one at the other side of the ankle? It might not be a bad idea. You, I mean, the thing is, if you're getting some, there you go. If you put, if you put yeah. one just there, that's working pretty well, and that's your Photoshop knowledge of that tool kicking in, which is which is excellent. Now, all I'm aiming for here, right, is this to be in the ballpark because we're going to switch back to the curvature pen tool now, and then we can edit those points. So if we go back to the curvature pen tool, okay, we can then get hold of the points that we want to manipulate and just drag those around. So it conforms slightly better than it perhaps does just at the moment. And near enough, by the way, is good enough. Remember, it's a sketch we're working to. We're not trying to create a technical drawing uh, just here. So you can just, this is the beauty of this tool. You can just move this around. And if you want to delete a point, by the way, if you think I've got too many points in that region, mm -hmm. simply click on one of those points, okay, to highlight it, and then just hit backspace or delete on your keyboard, and it takes away the points that you don't need. Again, if you were doing that with the uh, with the traditional pencil, you'd have problems. I think it looks okay-ish. I think it's just fine for now. Remember, this yeah. is the thing. This is uh, what I'm looking forward to is next week when you've done loads of practice and you know in the in the host meeting and you show me how. <laughs> I'm gonna make posters of all the all the, all the hosts dancing. Oh, fantastic. that would be great, wouldn't it? But then Rufus will actually make us do it for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You're making I will pick the outfits for everyone. There we are. Right, now we're going to cut the shoes away from the leg. Okay, yes. so we've got those. Now, the little detail there, that bit where the, sh the foot is exposed, we'll see if we get onto that. But for now, we're just going to do something real quick yeah. uh, for that. Gareth saying host meeting. Yeah, Gareth, we actually have a meeting every yeah. week to talk about what happened in the week that just went on and about what may happen in the week after. But yeah, yeah, they normally mute Sophia and I and Julia. Yeah, <laughs> they usually don't let me talk. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the line tool. Hit the backslash key on your keyboard. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to come across here and we're going to draw a line across where we'd like to snip the shoe away from the leg. Like that. Okay. Done it? Yes. Perfect. Right. Keep that selected. Go to the object menu. Oh, wait. Wait. I think I was still in the curvature tool and now I have oh, something okay, next to cool. Well, I mean, actually, the, 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 it, as long as you've got a line going across there, it would work perfectly well. Well, now I have a line with the curvature tool, but I clicked twice, so it is a straight line. Perfect. There we go then. So, uh, go to the path menu. To the path yeah, menu. Yeah, so object, object and then path. path. Yeah, and then in there you'll see divide objects below. Divide objects below. Got that. And now you've got two objects. I <gasps> know, oh, it's amazing, right? <laughs> Do the same thing over the other ankle. So which we're using whichever tool you want, just draw a straight line across there. It doesn't actually have to be a straight line, it could be any line. So if you wanted a bit of a curve in there, that's where I would draw it. So draw a line across and then go back to the object menu, back to path. Yep, divide objects below. And there we are. Ooh. Good stuff. You know, it's gonna be funny if you see this in the final product and everyone's like, that does not look at all like the thing Tony is doing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like here hyping it up. It's so good. Well, we'll see. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. Right, we're about, we are actually at the halfway point right now. So we're doing okay. We're doing pretty good. Right. So what I'm going to do next then is I'm going to go back up here for the skirts. So we'll draw all of that now. What tool are we going to use for that? We're Just going to use tool? the curvature pen tool again. Yeah. Because that's okay. going to give us exactly what we need. Okay, so go for the curvature pen tool. Got it. And we're going to start up here on the waistband. Yeah. Right, so we're going to want that to be kind of straight. Just it. Now, actually, thinking about it, hold on a minute. Do you know what? What we could do? No, we'll do, we'll do that. We'll draw. I'm tempted now to actually do that whole line and split that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start from the armpit. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And we're going to click just there to begin. So just a single click for that. because we're going to want a little bit of a curve here. Uh, and then I'm just going to make my way down the body here. I'm allowing, because I know the body curves. So I'm going to just kind of allow a bit of a curve in there until I get to the top of the waistband where I will double click. And I'll go down just that little bit into the waistband there. Double click again. Mm-hmm. Then imagine a point at sort of the midpoint of that first curve out from the skirt. Yes. Okay, click just there and then go to the very tip of that skirt. So we've got a nice curve just there. Yes. Brilliant. Double click that to make sure it goes back to being a curve. Now this time, right, what you don't want to do is intersect with that particular path. So you might just mm -hmm. need to draw just beyond it. Okay, and then go up to the point at the apex of, the, of that angle just there. And I would double click just there. Now, if you need to move the point in the middle at that point, you know, like this, you could move mm -hmm. that around. And then we're okay. just gonna work our way through from this. So this one's pretty much, um, it's not very far off a straight line. Wherever you want to do a return on an angle, so the top of an angle or the bottom of an angle, just remember to double click at those points. Okay. Oops. And oh, then- here we go. There you are. Okay, yeah. so just make your way through those points there. Double click on when you want to go to the angle, remember. And. Don't remember the last time I was this focused? Ooh. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> 
first time really focusing in 2021. Uh, there we go. Right, okay. And you should be pretty much at a point now where you're towards the right-hand edge of the skirt if you're not there already. Yes. And again, I'm going to choose a bit of a... I'm going to make a lower midpoint just here and then go up to the top of the skirt, just there, double-click at the bottom of the waistband. Okay, and then just double-click at the top of the waistband and then start to make a way up the body here. Now, the body's going to curve over, so all we need really in that particular point okay is to go up to the armpit again now we've got a choice here we could actually do and i think it, it might be a good idea to do this we could do the body right up to the top of the neck uh, from this point and then we can divide it up afterwards. so going over the t-shirt uh, so yeah no i think what we'll do is we'll, we'll draw the t-shirt separately but what we're going to do is actually find the path so we're going to go down towards the crook of the elbow that bit yeah. there Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And click near that. Mm -hmm. Now I just need to go back and just double click the one at the top. I want an angle oh, there. Too. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to come down just a little bit, just a little bit either side, just to form that curve and down to here. Now, again, because I've got something that's going to connect just here where the hand hits the skirt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to overdraw it like so. Mm-hmm. So I'm just overdrawing these. So I've got okay. this kind of shape. Like that. Okay, and then I'll just go back and pull these into place. Got that. And Looks then we can just kind of like drawing. what you are doing. There you go. <laughs> you'll get it. Loosely based. <laughs> you on will, true you'll events. get it. You'll get it. Okay, so you, you know that Photoshop has this tool as well, right? Photoshop has a curvature pen tool. I know. I know that because yesterday when I did all my um, Illustrator research, the guy was talking about that it is the exactly same thing in Photoshop. And I have to admit, I have not used this in Photoshop before. It's it's a very good... It's a very... I, I would say this is a very accessible way to draw in that it doesn't require quite the same skills as mm. using the, the regular pen tool does. And it does exactly the same job. There are there are some occasions where you would use uh, the regular pen tool, but they are fortunately few and far between in the main, really. So, okay. So, uh, what I'm going to do in here is I'm then going to come across here and just click to keep on drawing curves until you get to what would be the top of the neck. Okay, and double click just there. And then imagine where the neck would end for the top of the next curve and double click there. And then make your way through like so. You guys uh, watching, I hope you're enjoying this. It looks like there's plenty going on uh, in the chat. Sean's asking if we're only doing this on one layer. This part, yeah, we are. Yeah, so this part, yeah, we may split it apart once we get into the vest, but we're going to... What we're doing here is a process called line finding and we're working our way around the silhouette and then we're going to use other lines to divide this up so we've got the content that we need uh, from there. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, what about the pointy corners on the lines? There are a couple of pointy corners on there, um, but we're not going to worry too much about those just at the moment because some of those may resolve themselves. Okay, okay so Sophia, what we're going to do is we're going to make our way out across the lines of the arm remember to use that little preview yes. uh, line just there so it gives you an idea of where you're conforming when you get to a change in direction just points in between as i've just added there so i've added three points for that wrist okay do you know how many times my left wrist has been broken no do you want to guess all right are you left-handed uh, i was <laughs> Well, after breaking it three times. Five. Five. Five times, man. Five times. I can't focus on two things <laughs> as shown now. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, carry on as you are. I'm also left-handed, but I'm actually using the mouse with my right hand. Do some people use the mouse with their left hand? Yeah, or? so I used, when I used to use a mouse, I used to use my mouse with my left hand, but I would draw them with my right hand because I, I'd learned to, to use for my... I was actually ambidextrous to be perfectly honest and i'm still partially ambidextrous although so much of the functionality from my left hand has gone 
um, never to come back. Uh, but uh, because I've had other, I've had a series of operations on my on my left hand. So. I think I'm almost done with the arm. Yeah. Oh, so you've gone right the way around. Should this I is, not? This. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's good news. That means you're getting it. So you know, this is excellent news. Was in so the I've, zone. Uh, you are. I'm just trying to catch up with you now. Okay. So of course, once we get to uh, to the beginning here. And then we can double click there and can complete that path. Nice. Now we're going to draw some paths that allow us to divide this up. Now, what we could do here, yeah, is I'm going to start just underneath the armpit on the left hand side of the drawing. So mm -hmm. the figure's right hand side. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to click just there to start a new path. And then going to come into the body and click just there and then go up here like so. So I'm just drawing a line like that for the moment. Okay, I'll do the same. Okay, then I'm going to go and move one of these points around and I might even need to double click on it just to get it to change there like so. So I'm going to line that up. I think I'll actually line it up with the armpit just there. Then the one at the top, I'll steer that until the line conforms with the jersey. Got move, it. Move across here. I might need to double click on that as well. You know that already, right? To change direction. So then double click here. So, and then just make your way down like so to draw the sort of collar area of the, it's like a tank top. Crop top. Crop top. It's crop a crop, it's a, it's a crop top tank top. Crop top tank top. There we go. Whoa. There we are. Just. Wow. Uh, and I think at that, right, so with that line just there, we can already find Ooh. a few of those objects. In fact, do you know what? If you wanted to come down here and just draw that final curve like so, so we're not going to close out that path. Yeah. <laughs> Mine looks like a Kevlar vest <laughs> <laughs> right now. Looks like. I should, I, should, I, should, I should imagine if this guy would have been stood at the top of the steps of the Capitol building <laughs> the other week. Everybody would have just turned around and gone, do you know what? No, thanks. Life is too short. <laughs> yeah. Live your dreams. Exactly. Go become a dancer. Be, be your dream. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, now we've got that line. The command we're going to use here, and you've already used it before, you can actually hit escape to stop the tool from operating if you want to, is object, okay, and then path and divide objects below. And you can see Ooh. it then finds us all what? of those things i have to i wasn't done with my jersey oh okay you carry on once you're done you can check the chat while i finish i will do so let's have a look uh yeah jack uh is the same completely left-handed except everything using a mouse and trackpad it's funny how we, it's nice though that we kind of divide up uh, like that. Jackie draws her characters with her left hand. It gives them more character. That is a good technique, actually. Non-dominant drawing can be very, very Ooh. liberating. If you use non-dominant drawing, nice way to create shapes that you might not otherwise, because you're also forcing that other side of your brain to do the do the work, which is... I was about to is, say, that must be good brain exercise. Just It to... is a good exercise. It's a yeah. really good exercise. Uh, Oliver's cross-dominant. Uh, yeah. That's impressive. Yep, that's cool. Uh, can you use Kirsty ECS? I don't know what that is, Kirsty ECS with the pen tool in Photoshop. ECS, don't know. That's something I need to learn about. Right, so once you've got your path, remember that's to that. go to the object menu. Path, object, path. Divide objects below. It's a really, really handy uh, little thing to use and what you should find when you've done that you should find that it's actually created you an arm yeah another arm yeah a tank top <gasps> amazing yeah so and i can select them separately now i can yeah, you can absolutely you drew Oosh. them there uh, what we could do here right now as well as we could go ahead and we could add um we could add the lines for the waistband. So if we go ahead and get our curvature pen tool back, okay, just here, yeah. And then we could just go ahead. Now I'd draw something across like this. 
because I don't want to inter to interact with the lines underneath. This is why I don't always put the point in the right place and I move it in afterwards so that it doesn't connect with any lines there. Okay. Got it? And then once more again, uh, up to the object menu, down to path. What if I accident, I have to zoom in more, I think. Okay. Because what if I, it happened to me before that I accidentally clicked on the path and then it just like. Yeah, so what you need to do in those particular instances, if I just undo that just there and I'll undo the drawing that I did, so I'll get rid of that bit there and I'll zoom in for you so hopefully you can mm -hmm. see better. So I started outside like so and I got to this point here and then, okay, I wanted to start drawing across here. But you'll notice that I'm not drawing it anywhere near where it actually needs to be. Mm -hmm. And then I go to it afterwards and then I bring it into place because that way it doesn't interact with the path underneath. Okay. That and that stops it from going. Yeah. Across there. So Tim's cleaning out the old reality asylum. Nice. Oh, sure's got to go. Oh, there you go. That's my gloss bias. Honestly. Which we're going to use later. I want this to be real shiny. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny. Oh, I'm such a submarine raccoon. Anyway, Got right. It. I'm going to go to the... Yes. Brilliant. There we go. So now you can see how you're actually making separate objects just there really nicely and easily just by doing that. Now, we're going to do the same with the vest, right? Mm -hmm. To divide that up into regions that we can color, but... We're not going to do it where the vest is right now. Yeah. What we're going to do is click on the vest to select it. Remember, you've got to click on a visible attribute in uh, got it. Sandrine spotted submarine raccoon and she claims her five pounds. There you go. They're, they're five pound Adobe Live dollars, which are worth slightly less than Monopoly money. <laughs> the course has gone up in 2021. Okay. But there we are. Right. Okay. That also means I lose 20 points, by the way. <laughs> no, it's 50 points. That one was worth, wasn't it? Right. So what I'm going to do there is once I've got it selected is double click on it. Double click on it. Double click on it. Now, what you're going to notice is at the top of the document area, you've now got a gray bar. Yes. Okay. And that gray bar says layer three, and then it says path. True. This is called isolation mode, and it's a way you can simply get to an object without interacting with any of the other objects Okay. in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the curvature pen tool yeah. Okay. to start off with. So get that tool active again. Got it. Okay. And we're going to start outside. So I'm starting away from the armpit just here. Yes. I'm going to double. No, I'm not going to double click. I'm just going to click there. I'm going to click at the where the collarbone would be, and then I'm going to click just beyond over here. And if you need to move that middle point to adjust it, so you've got something like that, do that. Okay, all good? Ish, 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 ish. It made an anchor, like an, an edge. How can I make it back to a round thing? Click on the middle thing? Uh, double click on the middle thing if it... If, if it do it no no if not just if not just delete I'll just it. went back i just yes yeah. command z you can also add a point at any point as well by the way so here if i delete that point can you see i've got a straight line yeah notice that when i go back to the line like yeah. so can you see there's a small plus yes if i click on there it adds a point at that point and then oh. you can come ahead and use it so we're going to do that Perfect. just there what i need you to do now though is to hit the escape key done right that stops the tool from operating we're going to come down to the bottom and we're going to do a similar thing just down here so we're trying to imagine the curve of those stripes that would be affected there we're only doing those two by the way okay all right good done that tap v on your keyboard that gets you the selection tool v yeah then you'll have one path selected but hold down shift and select yes. the other one done all right you're having fun by the way yeah That's i'm having cool. i'm i'm so i'm like push so excited <laughs> this is good this is right. the most fun i had in 2021 okay <laughs> go to the object menu object okay. menu yeah come down to blend blend yeah and choose make 
make. And then, yes. I only have one more. No, no that's okay. We're going to fix that in a minute. We're going to fix that in a minute. Okay. Tap, tap W on your keyboard. W. Yes. That will actually get you the blend tool. And what you're going to do is in the toolbox, yes. you can sit, double click on that icon in the toolbox. I and you'll get double... blend options. Yes. Yeah? Yes. You'll get a small thing that pops up and says blend options. Now, you can actually, I could have got you to do that in the properties panel as well, because it actually says that at the bottom of the properties panel too. Yeah. But we went to it this route because it's worth you knowing that sometimes you can double click on a tool to access its options. Mm -hmm. And Julia, Julia's here to blend tool incoming, so she knows exactly what I'm going to do. There we are. Right, so in the spacing, it says smooth color just here on mine, but you can also change it to specified steps. Okay. Yeah. And you have three there. I've got mine three just there. Yeah. So I change it to three. Change it to three and you'll see that the blend changes. And hit okay. Hit okay. Yes. All right. You can then go to the objects menu. Yeah. Come back down to blend. Blend. Okay. And choose expand 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 and it yes. changes that into a group of paths which i also know because it says that in the property channel it's now here that's that so you're getting it these are the things to look for right to know what you've got selected is really really easy because it tells you at the top yeah. there and it can save you from a whole load of different uh, problems and i'm glad right that uh, linda's enjoying this as well which is really really good so excellent at yeah, this point she's learning point so much imagine how much i'm learning <laughs> 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 okay now because we're in isolation mode we can yes. use the um select all shortcut um with safety because some uh, instances in illustrator you can't but this is one of those where you can uh, so command. yeah command a yeah okay. for that one okay then we're going to get the shape builder tool so shift m shift m yeah yep. and remember to turn the shape builder into something that is less inclusive hold down the option okay. key and you can drag across the bits that you don't need like that. Uh, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> right. So well, I think while we're here, we could actually do a little bit of coloring in. Yeah. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go and turn this into a live paint group. OK, so go to the object menu down to live paint and choose make make yeah yes and we can tap k for our paint bucket tool get your swatches out and now you can start to give this some color so you know you can go with what's well, supposed to be a rainbow color so yeah yeah starts... so, so choose rainbow colors that's cool yeah. i mean might not have enough lines for a whole rainbow it might not be far i thought off, it was though. six because six should be the classic rainbows drives. yeah and then it is yellow orange and red done nice now we're using ferocious colors here because we miss maddie right yes <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna do, do a drawing class with maddie next time yeah wear sunglasses anyway right yeah. so <laughs> okay we'll tap v on our keyboard to get the selection v. tool yep yeah. and then yeah. just double click anywhere away from the artwork and it takes us back out Okay, yeah. <laughs> so this now pretty much here, what we could do is select all of the um, well, actually, I was going to color in the skin parts, but we won't do that just at the moment. Let's okay. just do the detail on this skirt and then we can uh, then we can actually color the skirt in. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to get my curvature pen tool. You can see this features real, real big. Yeah, in what we're doing the, right now. The hit it's super handy. Okay, and I'm just simply going to draw a curve like so remember what i said about uh interacting with other yeah things but i actually do want to pull this back so that i've got a line just going here like so oh got how it? can i do question because now again it does the fill thing because with the last color that i use oh cool okay so um just try hitting the slash key on your keyboard that's the one that has the question mark above it okay yeah but yeah. that I have to remember 
before I start drawing <laughs> again, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, you're, the thing is, once you've done it a few times, it becomes second nature anyway. Yeah, good. Okay, done all it. good? Perfect. All good. Right, what we're going to do then is we are going to go to the control strip. That's the thing that runs across the top. It's the illustrator equivalent of the options bar. Yeah. Wait. And with that stroke selected, okay, I'm just going to stop my pen tool from working here. I'm just going to hit escape uh, from that just for a minute. But my path is still selected. I'm going to go to this area that says uniform. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Click there and you'll see a whole bunch of width profiles. And there's yes. one just down here which tapers to a point. It's called width profile four. It's imaginative, isn't it? Someone was really creative there. I know, they were working it. Right, so. <laughs> Can we get someone to come up with good names? <laughs> now, mine's actually gone to a point at the at the point of the skirt, which is the opposite of what I actually want. But Mine for, went the other way. That, that's fine. It just it has, has something to do with the drawing direction. But if you do want to change it, you can go to the stroke panel and at the very bottom of the stroke panel, so uh -huh. wherever you can see the word stroke yep. there, it's a hyperlink through to that panel. You can click on it. And down at the bottom, you've got this flip along thing here uh, so if it yeah. ever is pointing the wrong way yeah yeah you can just go ahead and do that yeah okay yes so uh, you might need to hit escape again but all you need to do now is just draw the curves to the places that uh that you want them right you don't need to do anything with the width points at this particular point and i'll show you for why uh in a second yeah but just draw the additional lines you need so i think we need like four lines here is it okay that mine are overlapping with the skirt or should i in you line can always them? just pull them back so i here's how i draw mine sophia i draw like this i actually do purposely overdraw and then you draw and then just back. drag the point back in that's the beauty of this tool i'm i know i'm really really trying to sell this tool to you because it's so good <laughs> Kirsty said it's not burnt into my screen because the brightness is a sensible level. <laughs> Oliver's saying, damn, I didn't bring my sunglasses to this stream. Well, you don't uh, need, need and Julia thinks, this one. Julia says, I bet Sophia's illustration is mind-blowing already. I mean, it is mind-blowing, but... <laughs> I'm sure it's going to sure be amazing. Good. Right, what you can do then is switch to your selection tool. Can you remember how to do that? V. Yeah, perfect. And then you can select the lines that you've just drawn, the, not the ones that you've changed, the three that you've just drawn. You can then tap I on your keyboard. Can I also that. do shift and click on them individually? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how it's done. Yeah. Then tap I on the keyboard. Now the eyedropper in Illustrator works a little bit differently to the way it does in Photoshop because it can okay. copy various different attributes oh. if you go over to the first stroke that you drew from these taper strokes and click on it it should change all of the others to look like that if it doesn't go to the toolbox to the yeah. eyedropper tool in the toolbox and double click on it okay and where it says eyedropper picks up appearance appearance yeah absolutely okay yeah then i have to do it again i guess yep yeah. And this time it should work. It did. There you go. Right, just do a quick command S, just a quick update save on it. And let's zoom out and see where we're at. So what I think we could do now then, okay, is we could go ahead and get our selection tool, select our skirt and uh, our waistband just here and give those a fill color. One question. I've yes. seen something here. Yeah. My hand is still overlapping the skirt. Oof, and I think I accidentally drew something I don't know when. How can I get rid of things that I don't want? If you've want drawn anymore? something that you don't want, you simply click on them to select them and then yeah. delete them. If you've got something with the path, what you could do is select the path. Yeah. Yeah. Then get your curvature pen tool. Yeah. Yeah. And just move the points around to the places you want them, and that should work for you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the other way you could do it is with the direct selection tool, but the direct selection tool wouldn't allow you to flex a path in the way that I'm flexing that one. I Just see. Just there. Got it? Yep. Okay. Right then. Uh, so what I want to do now is I want to get us to a point where we can pretty much do all of the um, skin tones just here. So select all of the things that you've drawn 
so far that would have a skin tone applied to them. Yeah, remember you can use shift to do that to select on the individual elements there. Okay. Mm, so the arms. So that would be the, the arms, the neck, the midriff, and the uh, the legs. Um, um, yeah, oop. And the both the legs. Okay, mm. I think I selected that all. Awesome. Now we're going to fill that with a color that we don't currently have. So we're going to go to the swatches panel. Got that. Okay. Now at the bottom left of the swatches panel is something called the asset loader. Uh, and Sondre is saying skin tone, Tony's pirate tan. <laughs> <laughs> Yar. <laughs> Or I forgot British. the tattoos. That would British pale. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Right. So this thing down at the bottom left hand corner of the swatches panel. Yeah. All right. So there's three panels that have this thing. It's called a loader. Yeah, it allows you to load other content. If you click on that, okay, you will yes. see in there there is a library called skin tones. Yes. Choose that. Clicking. Okay. Yeah. And then you can just expand that to whatever uh, you want. And then you can choose a skin tone from there. I am going with my pirate tan. Sandrine, I'm keeping that. I think I love you. You're amazing. <laughs> I got that. I have the same. I think because, yeah, the mm -hmm, yeah. first down and then, yeah. Got Very good. Ah, now I've I've also noticed that I ah right okay so I had a group here now see see my leg here is grouped so what I'm going to do Mine is too. I'm going to ungroup that so I'm going to right click it and ungroup yeah because then I can select the shoes just here yeah and give them a color they've got to be more like ruby red slippers right I mean and really they'd probably be sparklies so ungroup. Yes. Does that select the shoe? Oh, Sandrine loves me too. This is great. And Julia's saying this illustration should be the official masterclass badge. <laughs> that would be wicked. I Can mean, make another sticker out of it, Julia. We're I think together. I'm doing We're a great job. We're together again so sometime soon this season. We can make more stickers. Maybe I'll find a second career. Yes. I like the color of my shoes. You'll see later. <laughs> right. So now what we're going to do is because we've we've kind of we've used so far, right? Um, we've used so far most of the things we need uh, here. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to our layers. Yes. We are going to unlock the template layer. Unlock. Okay. Yes. Which then allows us to select. Yeah. Yeah. OK, that thing. We mm -hmm. are then going to tap R on our keyboard to get the rotate tool. R. Yes. yes. You are then going to click. Can you see where I am at the moment? I'm just where the chin would be. Yes. I am going to hold down the option key. Yes. And click. And that does two things. It sets a transformation point and it also gives us this rotate dialogue because we're going to use the arrow keys on our keyboard and we're going to rotate this by minus four degrees minus four okay yes. okay and hit okay yeah okay. we are then going to lock that layer again lock Look, we then also are going to rename layer three to dancer just here and lock it. Dancer. Okay. Lock it. All right. Then we're going to add a new layer. New layer. Yeah. Hide the dancer body layer. So we're just back to the sketch. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why we've, we've gone ahead and just, okay, uh, move that thing around and rotated it it's because we're going to draw just half of the face and then then reflect it yeah okay so the best way to make sure we're only drawing half is to introduce a guide so for guides we need rulers command mm -hmm. r to get the rulers command r 
Cut the rulers. And here's a little trick for you, right? This works in Photoshop and InDesign as well, right? The nearest ruler to where I'm actually working is the one that's along the top of the document, but I actually want one that goes the other way. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to drag a guide out of the rulers, mm -hmm. but when you hold down the option key, it switches orientation, which means you can then add a vertical guide like so. Yes. Got it? No. <laughs> If okay. not, just um, just drag one out from the side. Dra oh. I, no, I'm dragging it down. I hold. Do I have to hold down option while I'm dragging, or should I press option? You can you I'm can dragging? press option as long as you do it before you release the mouse button. That's just fine. Okay. And it will switch orientation. It is switching orientation. Yes. And it done magic. I did it. Nice. Yes. Now we've actually we've only got ten minutes left, so Oof. we'll just have to get as far as we can in that ten minutes, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we are going to switch to the curvature pen tool. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're going to start at the top of the head where it intersects with the guide. Yep. We're going to click our way around there. Right. Just try and do it under your own volition there to get around the side. Don't worry about the fill just for the moment. That's just fine. I don't have fill for the first time. Oh, well, I'm just going to get rid of mine as well. There we go. Okay. So just make your way around there. Don't worry about the earrings just for the minute. Just try and get around so you've got half of the half of the head shape there. And remember, you've got that option to go ahead and go back to earlier points in the path and move them and add new ones if necessary. That's what gets rid of some of your jaggy lines is by changing the mitre point there. OK, all good. All good. Perfect. Right, let's hit escape so we stop drawing on that path. Let's draw a shape for an eyebrow. And again, use one of those width profiles there for our eyebrow. So remember where they are, they're up at the top here. Stroke, not uniform. Yeah. And this time I use the imaginatively name width profile five. Mm. I used a different one by accident, but I'm leaving it. <laughs> don't forget every, don't forget every, that's fine. Every time we draw uh, another element like this, what we're going to do is we're just going to hit the escape key mm -hmm. so we can go on to draw the next one. Now we can draw the mustache, mm -hmm. okay, in the same way. We can just draw a curve like this, okay, like this curve here. Then we can go ahead and choose a width profile that is sympathetic to what we're drawing there. And then just increase the stroke weight. Which one did you use for this? I used exactly the same one oh, with profile that. five, but then I just boosted up the weight on mine to 15 points. That's 15, one five. That it we're, looks we're playing, a bit weird, but playing point bingo. Well, don't forget you can always you can always massage it slightly by moving the points around. And there's other things we could do just there, but of course we're working against the clock now. Because exactly. We've got, to, we've got to remember that at 27 minutes past, we have to switch over to your screen to see how it's gone. So let's yeah. make sure that everybody gets well. Oh, we've got ten. Oh, we've got ten minutes. We're good. We got. We're good. We've got a little bit. Oh, thanks, Tim, in my ear. Magic, good. magic. <laughs> uh, Jackie says I have to eat kids. Is that a new diet? How does that work? Is that 2020, 21? Oh, I have to eat kids. Punctuation. Let's eat grandma. Changes everything. <laughs> right, okay, so escape from that particular thing. Let's go ahead and tap L to draw an ellipse and just come ahead and um, we're going to draw an ellipse just here for an I, like so. Done. Right, now I actually want that to be filled with black and have no stroke. So what I'm going to do is this. Hold down the shift key. Shift key. And tap X on your keyboard. And that transposes X. the fill and stroke. Like so. Right, done. I reckon I reckon we can get this next bit done, which is cool. In fact, what we're going to do here now is we're going to select all of the other layers should be locked, right? Uh, let me check again. All other layers locked, yes. Perfect. Okay, so we can do Command A here, okay, to select everything. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to make sure. Oh, actually, I'm going to get my selection tool before I do that. So just tap V for your selection tool before you do it. 
Got it. All good? Yeah. Perfect. Now we're going to tap O on the keyboard. O. O. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Uh, and the reason it's O is because you could draw a line through any point of an O and it would be symmetrical on the other side. You see? Ba -da. Right, so, well, provided it intersected with the middle, but that's geometry. Let's not talk about that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of the points. I'm going to choose the point I've done on the jawline just here. Yeah. I'm going to hold down the option key. Option key, option key, option key. Yep. They are, and click on that point, which again does the same thing as before. It sets a transformation point and it invokes a dialogue. And I am going to reflect this vertically. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm not going to click copy because I want you to have the skills. Wherever you see that copy button, yeah. you can actually use a keyboard shortcut to copy it. So you hold down the option key and hit return. Nothing happened. <sighs> are they selected? All the bits are selected? Yeah. Yeah. Option. Nothing. Return. return. Mm -mm. And it Should I just it. click copy? Yeah, just click copy. Yeah. It's not yeah. doing it. It might be a German keyboard thing. I don't know. Maybe. I don't I'll know. try again later. I'm so sorry. But it is a face. <laughs> It is a face. Right, now at the top here, if you've got any gaps, like I've got a gap at the top here. I don't think I have a gap. <coughs> oh, that's, that's cool then. Well, what, what, I'll show you what I would do if I did have, which I do. I'm just selecting both of those paths there and then I'm going to use Command J to join them together. And sometimes you need to do it twice as I just did for those to join. Okay. Cool, but we've got a face that's symmetrical. Now, let's use our pencil tool. So tap N on your keyboard. And on my keyboard. Yes. And just watch my drawing and then you do this bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start drawing outside and I'm going to draw in like so and around like this to draw that hairline. Okay. And finish outside again. Okay. But I'm not letting go of the, of the tool. Like I'm just You're holding just it down. And drawing painting. with it. Yeah. That's it. Just as you would with a with a brush. Done. Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to do the same thing underneath to kind of get that beardy region, just there, like that. Done. Perfect. Right. Then what we're going to do is we are going to select. So switch back to the selection tool. Yes. The line you've just drawn should be selected. So hold down shift and select the line you drew before that. And then also select the shape of the face. Done. Cool. Okay. Shift M to get your shape builder tool. Option key to turn it into subtract mode and remove the lines that you don't actually need. Oof. I think I... Wait. I'm in okay. holding down option, but then it deletes the whole thing. Why is it not deleting? Ah, you might be getting a bit close to it. Just hold on a minute. So if you've got lines that poke out quite a long way, like I have here. Mm hmm. Yeah. But I can't so, select them individually. You should be able to, you shouldn't need to. So you can see all of mine here are selected. But if you hold down the option key and just go to the actual line. Ah, there it did it. Yeah. It does it on one side, but not on the other. <laughs> it can be tricky. Mm. Why is it? Come on. Don't worry. It's all good. Alles wird gut. I mean, it's not doing it on one side. It's doing it on, on, on the left, but not on the right. Mm, don't worry too much for now. That'll be okay, I'm sure. Just artistic freedom. Yeah, absolutely. You can always adjust the, the path afterwards. So your um, main face shape should still be intact this way. So we've not actually done the same thing as the divide objects below. So what we can do, actually what we could do here, you know, is go to the bits of the moustache that you've made, right? Mm -hmm. So click on both of those. So you've got those both selected. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to the object menu. Moustache. Yeah. And other moustache. Yes. Yep. Okay. We're going to go object, path, path. Outline, stroke. 
Outline stroke. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that changes those from being paths to being shapes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got a couple more things to do. Tim will talk in my ear when we've got like about three or four minutes remaining. If, okay. If. So we're good. We're going to turn this into a live paint group. This time we're going to use the shortcut. Option, command, X. Is so everything sure selected every now? Everything selected now. Yeah. Okay. O option, command, X. Okay. Option, command, X. Oh, I didn't do the eyebrows. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just ca carry on anyway. Uh, okay. We can always fix the eyebrows later on. Uh, turn on your dancer layer underneath, because we're going to need that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tap K for your paint bucket tool. Okay. Now, just in Illustrator, if you wanted to, uh, sorry, in Photoshop, if you wanted to sample a color from somewhere, where would you go? The eyedropper tool? No, well, you could do that. You could hold down the option key. Yeah. And then you could sample the skin color from here. And you could go ahead and apply that in the middle just there. Then you could just go ahead and choose another color for the stubble region. Yeah. Maybe another color for the hair it? region. Oh, is Mine is not doing it now. Have you, what, the, the paint bucket tool is not working or? Yeah, it, I can click on it and then it says the selection contains objects that cannot be converted. Live paint groups can only contain paths and compound paths. Mm, it might be. So we already did the outline stroke. It will be the eyebrows. So if you select the eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. And then just go uh, object path outline stroke. Then that should work. Object path. Yeah. Outline stroke. Outline stroke. Okay. And then option. Here we go. I think you're already far ahead. Mine is not going to turn out as great. It's going to be fabulous. So now. What did I have? K. Yep. See, you're getting it. It you still says the same thing. Does it? Hmm, something wrong there. We'll have to Maybe I have to that. go with the colorless face for now. Yes. But I can show we can analyze it later on that we can yeah. do. So I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do here just now is I'm just going to wrap mine up by selecting the type tool just here. You can do exactly the same thing if you want. So just get the type tool. Come out and simply click on the artboard somewhere. Type 2021. 2021. Yep. Hit yep. escape. Okay. Yep. And that takes us back to the selection tool. Now you need to hold down shift here. Yep. Okay. Because unlike Photoshop, you need the shift key for proportions. Yeah. You can bring that out to a sort of size you want it height wise. And then you could choose uh, a typeface for that. I think I thought to myself earlier that Blenny is a good choice, but you might not have that on your machine, but that's what I, I would do. go with for this one. Do you? Yes. You have Blenny. Awesome. Yes. And then you could pop that down there. Um, you could change the color of it if you wanted to. So I might make that white on mine and then turn on the background layer visibility for it. Let's see. White and then turn on the background layer. Yes. <laughs> Right. Are you ready to do the reveal on your screen? I mean, I ready? am ready. Yeah. I just have to maximize. So I will better, stop yeah. my share so we can swap over. In fact, Tim stopped it for me, which is fantastic. Do I have to turn it on myself, Tim, or can you do it? Yeah, you have to do it. No, I have to do it. Okay, let me do it. Yes. Nice. Here we go. Can people see my screen? Yes. That's not bad. <laughs> That's really good. I think so. Yeah. I mean, the face is missing a little bit. Well, let's try and let's try and resolve that right now. Let's try and do it. So zoom in on the face. Let's try and talk you through oh, uh, doing this one. Zoom, so, zoom, zoom. Yep. And then pan to where you want to be. Yeah. That's because you. the only reason it's doing that is because you've got something selected. So it, Here we go. Illustrator will always jump to selected things. Okay. So drag a marquee over the face over everything for the head because everything else should be locked right and let's try and analyze what's going on here now that should be okay so hold down uh, shift and tap m 
Shift M. Yeah. Now let's go to that line that's sticking out from the side there. Hold down the Option key. Yep. And click. That's gone. There you go. It's gone. Right. Now, uh, Option Command X. Option Command X. Yeah. And tap K on your keyboard for the paint K. bucket. Done that. Yeah, we're good. Right. Okay. So what you're going to do now is you're going to hold down the Option key and click on the skin tones that you can see underneath. Go to yeah. the middle of the face and click. Okay, now let me just read that. No, 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 no. Clipping pass are not allowed. Right, something is inside something else. So hit OK. Okay, go to the property, actually. Mm, interesting. I think, I think that might be it, actually. That might not be joined. Uh, so uh, mm -hmm. get your selection tool. V. Yes. Oops. Okay. Okay. Right. V. So mm -hmm. V. Right. Click away just for a moment, just to deselect everything. Yes. Right. Click on the left, the lines for the head. Click on the left hand side. This. Yep. Okay. Right. Hold down Shift and click on the right hand side. Now just do Command J twice. J. Hmm. There's something gone very, very wrong there. Hit OK. Oops. Just to just to get rid of that. OK, go to the objects menu. Objects. OK, and down to path and choose outline stroke. From there. OK, try selecting everything in the head area again. We'll see if we can get you through this one. Cool. OK. Uh, Oh, now what's... Ah, I can see what the problem is. Uh -oh. Okay, click away just for a moment. I can see what the problem is. Okay, in the properties panel, can you see the yeah. guides, the bit that says guides, the icon in the middle that isn't lit up? So just down a bit from where you are. Yeah, here. Uh, next one down in yeah. the middle there. This. Click that to lock the guides. Your guides were unlocked, so it's selecting the guides. That's what's happening. Oh. This is why we're doing this, kids, because that way you can see those problems. And that's part yes. of the thing with, with mastering something. Okay, so select uh, everything Face just there. Again. Yeah, okay. uh, right, Option Command X. Option Command X. Yeah, okay, K for the live paint bucket. And I know that's worked because I can see the icon. So hold down the yes. Option key and sample that skin color. Middle of the face, color it in. <laughs> Go to your swatches panel. Swatches panel, get yeah, a beard choose, color. Yeah, choose a beard color and a, and a hair, color. hair color. Yes. Isn't command that it? Z command zero to zoom out to the whole thing. <laughs> okay, and you can deselect that if you want. Pew, pew, pew. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about I think, that? I think that's good, no? For the first one. Yeah, yeah, it's really good for the first one. Yeah, really good. <laughs> that was so much fun. Now I want to do a lot more of these. Let me know right in the chat if you want to see more of this. Yes. Please don't say no. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they'll enjoy that. Uh, and Julia, <laughs> Julia is saying, oh, my God, it's Freddie Mercury. It is. It is. It is. I'm so happy now. I want to get this. Sandra said, to... I want to break free. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. And all all my saying, struggles. Yes, obviously we want more, which is really good. Kirsty's doing a flugel horn to celebrate. Oh, yes, thank nice you. Jackie, well done, Gareth. Ah, oh, awesome. there we are. Yeah, so nice That's one. I really, I loved doing that with you. That was great. It was fun. so much fun. I learned so much. I have to do a lot more so I get used to it, but it's yeah. so nice. And it's also so good to have you there to let me know what I have to do. <laughs> all these little you see all these little tiny arrows that you run into and then you get frustrated because you don't know you have a guide selected or something like yeah. stuff you just don't think of yeah and, and that was the thing and i didn't see that to start off with and it didn't occur to me that your guides might be yeah uh, unlocked but you can see how the diagnostic process works through that. really you well have to kind of work your way through it and then you find it, but it's knowing that, you know, otherwise yeah. you might have just stopped and just thought, no, this isn't I would for have me. Just whereas been frustrated. whereas it, it totally is for you, you know, it's totally for everybody. It's got a steeper learning curve than Photoshop. Yeah. Because the results aren't generally so immediate. But yeah. it is way, way powerful. It's so, so much fun. It's great fun.
But that's it from us, I think, uh, now for this particular first masterclass uh, in the season, which is amazing. Yes. Thank you so much so for being be here. Back. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, guys. Uh, and chipping in. Uh, on Friday, it's Natalie with uh, Paloma. Is it with Paloma? On? I think so. I think so. Yeah, so excellent. So that will be great. So you get a bit of Friday inspo. Uh, from, see me, I was being very millennial then. I wasn't completing the <laughs> word inspiration. I was just going that way. Right, so Friday Inspo with Natalie. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining us. Much love. Let's Thank hope we guys. have a better year this year. Take care now. See you later. Bye. Bye.